Hello, this is Matthew Miller with the ZeniNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. Today I wanted to look, take a look at the BlackBerry Z10 and Q10 running BlackBerry 10 OS 10.2. Now this will be uh, coming out shortly. It's already started, I believe, around other parts of the world. And in the U.S. it will be hitting the carriers probably uh, this coming week. However, there's a nice um, tutorial on crackberry.com that will walk you through how to uh, get it installed now. So I figured I would install it on both devices and take a look at some of the high points of the features. Now I'll be listing in my uh, post and linking to Crackberry a very extensive post that they have that walks through all of the features of OS 10.2 which are actually quite extensive on the Z10, Q10, Q5 and it launches on the Z30. But uh, I wanted to run through some of these features that I think are pretty cool and that really take BlackBerry 10 uh, kind of to the next level to a level that it would have been really nice to see them launch with this Given all the company issues and things like that, I don't know if that would have helped things, but it sure would have made the operating system even that much better. And as we'll see with some of these things, it makes it even more like WebOS than it already is. So, one of the first things you'll see, and uh, I'll, I'll step through there here in just a minute, is on the lock screen. Now we have these lock screen uh, preview notifications. So, this is a typical lock screen where you can see, uh, you know, over to the side, I have uh, two notification alarms. Uh, two Twitters, eight emails, and that's and then the next upcoming events and then whatever kind of owner information you want to put. Now you can actually tap on these events and see the details. This is NFL Mobile, breaking news, breaking news for NFL Mobile. If I tap on Twitter, there's a couple of tweets that are there. If I tap on my email, I can see who it's from, the subject of the email, and then the date that it was sent and time. So you can't then tap into it to take action or anything, but it gives you a quick preview to see if you want to unlock your device or if it's something that can be um, accessed and used later. So then of course you would still do the same swipe up to, uh, to unlock, okay? So that's the first string is lock screen notifications. I'll show you real quickly on the Q10 and this Q10 has a slightly different ones right now. You can see there's some tweets, there's a Facebook, there's an alarm there, okay? And then the next thing is the priority hub. So as I slide over to BlackBerry hub, tap on the hub, we can see here there's another th option for priority hub. And I can tap on that and then it will it'll auto filter some things. So if I go into my settings, we see there's a setting now for priority hub. If I tap on that, you can toggle priority hub on or off. And what it does is has rules. Sender has the same last name as me. So that's a family rule. Message sent with high importance or I started the conversation. And it toggles those three things on and off to create the priority hub. So you can quickly jump into there. That kind of quickly filters through things. Another thing in the uh, in the hub, we can see, we go to hub, tap down the bottom, there's an attachment view. And in here, we can see attachments in list, uh, list or grid view. And then you can see your attachments real quickly. There's also a few other things uh, when incoming calls come in, such as reply now, which I have not yet got, gotten to work. Um, that is actually, I'll go into the phone. Let me just make sure that uh, there's no phone numbers on there. So phone settings, we come down here uh, to priority calling. And then you can have the priority calling where you turn, turn it on or off. And if you turn it on, it's supposed to be when a call comes in, you can reply now messages with, I'll return shortly on my way, what's on your mind, that kind of thing. Some messages that you can set up that will send text messages to the person um, on your priority calling uh, setting. You can also, let's see if I have uh, just a second. I'm looking for a, an, uh, a notification to come in that I can show you. And I'll, I'll, I'll wait and I'll set one of those up. There's new copy and paste buttons, uh, Evernote used to be part of Remember, still is part of Remember, but now we also have Evernote as a standalone client, uh, native client. So you can see we have the full full Evernote client in there, which is nice to have. Uh, USB host is supported on the Q10 and the Z30. It is not supported on the Z10. We also have Bluetooth 4 Low Energy, which hopefully will get things like uh, the Pebble interaction, maybe a Fitbit app, that kind of thing. 
Uh, you also have multiple alarms. Let's see, where's my clock? So I'm going to the clock. Um, let's see, from the alarm clock. Oh, right up here. So there's a plus. You can add another alarm. So you can add multiple alarms, whereas before, strangely, there was only one alarm that you could have, right? Which is kind of weird. And then there's some other, other things in the list of uh, adaptive sharing um, and a few other things that are added to 10.2. I wanted to show, and let me just uh, come back in just a second. Okay, so say I'm sitting here browsing on the web browser, and I'm going to send a text message from another phone here. So I send a text message. I'm browsing away. You should see a notification come across the top. So there we go. A notification comes across the top. Now it'll stay there for just a few seconds and then disappear. That's very webOS like. Now I'll send another one. And what you'll be able to see is if I was to tap into most of the other ones, it would go to that notification in that application. There's a few things. Uh, I believe it's text message and BBM that you can actually take action right there on the uh, on the phone itself uh, on the notification itself without leaving like the web browser and that kind of thing so let me just send another text message here and then I'll tap on it fast enough before it disappears to take some action and you can see I can tap on it right there now it opens up the keyboard received message Okay, and then I can say send, and I'll go ahead and send that and keep me in the browser. So that's a really cool uh, notification. What is that called? It's, um, I call it something, uh, I guess it's just instant preview and reply. So that's pretty cool that's, uh, that's added to there. So as you can see, there's, there's a lot being added to BlackBerry 10 with the 10.2 update. Um, I still not quite sold on on using this over ios or android personally just because it's missing some key apps that i that i like to have but i do love you know the the whole messaging thing is really killer on uh, on the blackberry 10 operating system and if you're a communications type person and and that's the most important part of what you're looking for then the q10 or z10 or z30 may be a good device for you um, you know if there's not apps there's often the web browser that you can access things like my bank and uh the uh, fantasy football, things like that. But uh, that's just a quick look at BlackBerry OS 10.2 on the Z10. Thanks for watching.